Um, do you think you're going to need other systems like electricity or anything over there? Does that involve me wiring things? Uh, well, I could run the wire with if I make the uh, conduits um, up, uh, Ender IO, it would allow me to run power over there in the future. Yes. Um, I would not hate it if you were to if... want to wire my stuff. I'm okay. probably not going to so much get into wiring my stuff. Okay, well, I will make it so that it will be not a onerous task to uh, do that in the future. I'm just making a whole bunch of conduit right now. Okay, well, there's that's enough of that. Now, system... Zombifies. Zombifies, okay. I do not have a system program to crush... Um, let me see, what was it? Crystal, there we are. Wow, I'm actually getting a little low on Certus. Crazy. Um, can we sleep? Yeah, sure. Just a minute. Okay. Darn zombies. Strange whispers are revealing secrets to me, by the way. Oh. Yeah. That sounds awkward. I, get, I keep getting these little random pulses of research material. Ah, nice. Uh, okay, I need to check for Certus. I need to process some Certus Quartz here. Come on, where's my... Okay, there's Charged. I need Regular. Or is the Regular already going into the system? It must be. Is it sure as heck need here? Or I haven't mined any yet, maybe. Charged, charged, charged. I guess we haven't mined any new Certus Quartz. Well, I might have already done that a bit. Oh well. Hopefully, we're going to be okay. Conduit. Alright, I shouldn't need... How many channels have I actually used here? Let's make one piece of smart cable. Fluix. Okay, apparently we don't even have... don't have the material to make covered cable either because we don't have any wool. Nope. Wow. Yep, not a scrap of wool. Yeah, I was going to set that up too, but I guess I'll just go over with some shears. Do it the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna bring. I'll have to bring the animals over here and pen them up into a uh, harvester. Because <laughs> mm. we're gonna need a lot of wool for applied energistics in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the mo the advanced cables are covered. Are are coated. Basically, they're insulated. So, and they're bundled together so that they can actually carry more channels on them. Throw the wool in there. So if we're going to run regular ME conduit. Oh. Right, I needed a smart cable though. Hardened smart cable takes covered cable. We have four of those. And we'll get. Oh, we don't have any glowstone either. Yeah, future project. Um, digital miner in the nether. Okay, I think I've got to dig this all up and try three by three pools, because these are not... Okay. That seems sensible. If that's not working, it's not working. Yeah, because like, with that one square in the middle, it just... Like, it mm -hmm. never got used, so I don't know. And sa right. same with the the edges of the outside. Mm -hmm. They seem to only be taking the stuff immediately, JC. Which is not what the thing says, but we'll... Alright, well... Three of those. Get one of 
those. And one of fill this all in. And on, give it another go. My system does not know how to make crafting tables, Kate. Crafting <laughs> tables. Crafting tables. That's okay. All right, there's your oop, a much bigger table. Yes, this I'm, I'm bringing you a nice big crafting table, Kate. Okay, could you bring me a uh, stack or two of dirt too? Um, yeah, sure. Well, I kind fireworks. Of, I hear fireworks. Uh, that's for uh, that's um apparently when I get achievements now. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, here, dirt, dirt. Dirt. Okay, now how are we going to get to your house from our existing projects? All right, first question, where do you want it? Um, you know what, the basement will be fine. I'm going to expand into the basement, so. Okay, where is your stairway? Just outside the back door. Ah, that is a hard-to-access stairway, but okay, sounds good. Yes, it is. didn't bring any torches with me either. That was kind of silly. All right. Back to the house to get some torches. Yeah, because if I'm going to do this automated uh, uh, wood provision, I'm going to need the uh, conduit out there. Let's see. Stack of torches. There we are. That'll work a little better. That's a mosh pit and a half in your pool, pond. Actually, yep. that's a pretty small one. But okay, let's see. So if I if I just go straight, I'm gonna need to go a little deeper here. Okay, so there are. A lot of gaps in the world thanks to the uh, digital miner <laughs> where the uh, ores have been taken out. We'll worry about bringing you power later, but for now we'll just get you hooked up with conduit and we can pull the power over at a later date. There's the moat. So that's the moat floor right there. Yep, there we go. somewhere where we've actually already got a network in place. Let's see. Should be getting pretty close to... Let's see, the main network is right in this area, I believe. I hear a kitty cat. Did you have a cat? No. Oh crap, I'm hearing one of the evil cats. Ah, uh, yes, those things. Alright, where am I? Right under the wall, apparently. Oh, cool, that's actually not bad. Relative to where I need to actually go. Let's see, now where is the end of the network? There it is, it's right... Because, oh yeah, that's right, this is the power supply right here. Too cool. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, there's ME. Cable can come to here. There we go. And bring 
this round and down. Actually, this is something we'll check the smart cable here quick. Actually, no, that's going to be back at the main base. We'll see where we need to upgrade to dense cables. Whoa. All right, let's fix the ceiling and the floor. That goes there. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna have a couple of devices on your your local network. So it's gonna actually be a little more sophisticated than just a terminal here in the long run to get you the. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to make a device that actually requests um, wood out of the network and puts it into a dropper. Cool. And the dropper will be programmed to operate every so many ticks. And then we'll do we'll just bring we'll bring the ME network to here and we'll do all of your devices right here next to your. Wow. You're actually quite a long ways out here, Kate. Yeah? Yeah. I hope I got enough cable here. Because <laughs> I want to at least get you the uh, terminal. 16 to go. Where am I? Gonna be tight. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And I'm stuck. Six, five, four, three, two. And then the anchoring cable, one, Zero. Kate, it's over by your bed, Kate. Cool. It's not pretty, but it'll do. <laughs> That's fine. That's what the basement's for. All the not pretty stuff. Yeah, well, this is definitely qualifies. I'll at least conceal the, conceal the craziest part of it. Okay. Now that I have this here, I don't have to go back to the base to get everything. So I need a... Limits. Uh, um, oh, an interface. That's what we need. Interface. Oh, cool. I've got an ME interface already. It's like I've been planning to do something or something. Now we need a conduit. We're probably going to need more of these Ender IO item conduits. Let's see if I've got any more of this stuff. Pulsating. Okay, no, I don't have any in the system. I'm going to actually have to make some more. So let's see. Now, where are your fire flowers here, Kate? Um, my fire flowers are under the awning. Okay. All right, that's two channels already being used here. I'm being zombified. Are you? Yep. All oh, the zombies. Okay. Oh crap, that's a lake. Yes. Uh, give me a minute and I shall fill up some of that lake. Uh, no, I just need somewhere to bring, the, uh, bring us to the surface. Uh, well, yeah, I'm planning on filling in that lake, so... Okay. Let me not die from zombies. Okay. In the meantime, log. Wood. 6,000 and rising. We're going to tell this thing to keep a stack of 64 logs in the interface. 
No, they can burn saplings too, right? Yep. I'm thinking about telling it to do that with the oak saplings too, because they're going to be in there. A bazillion you, million of there's them? There's going to be a bazillion trillion of them, most likely. Yeah, maybe I will I tell it to use those up. I don't know what else they're used for, but and it's not like they won't be easy to get more of. Step out our front door and cut down some trees. Problem solved. Okay. Yeah. Now then, let's see. We need a... Just a standard Minecraft dropper. Ow. Or an open blocks item dropper. Um, I've got a dropper uh, up above my... Is it a dropper or a... Um... No, it's an open. No, that's an. That's a box. That's no, one of those. I've got that's... a dropper. I made oh. one. Oh, you made one. Okay. When I was looking at it, and then I. Where did it go? Okay, so this is going to be the one that's going to have the uh, fire burning, the wood burning flowers. Yep. Okay. The uh, dropper. There's a dropper above the box because the box doesn't work without a dropper. That's not a dropper. Kate. No, that's, that's a hopper. There's another. Where did I put it? I might have put it back in the system, actually. I didn't see one, but I'll go double check. You people, you dang zombies are so irritating to listen to. I know. Shush. And yet, you can't turn them down because then you You die. really need to know. All right. Well, fine. Okay, let's see. Drop. Oh, you do. There you are. That must be it. Because I certainly haven't made one. Okay. So let's see. So how many of these flowers do you have right now? Um, right now I have five, but if I have a drop system, I can make a bazillion more. Yeah, I know. It's just, uh, I just need to know how often I'm going to be clicking, toggling the, uh, um, redstone clock here. Because um, you say it takes 8 seconds, right? Yeah, between 8 and 10, yeah. 8 and 10 seconds. So if I have it trigger every second... Oh, man. You know, it would be nice if I had something that was sophisticated enough to drop 8 items every 8 seconds, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, let's see, let's see how um, uh, time... Or how uh, resource intensive this winds up being. There we are. Just gonna throw a few things in the system down here. Clear my inventory. Okay, clear that. Go away, all you stupid junk. So many mob drops. many mobs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're out at the edge of the uh, safe zone, so. Yep. To be expected. Okay. Can I do droppers face? Let me just try something here. Go, go away. My word. Hello. <laughs> Can you stop it already? Just, just, just stop it, you silly zombies. I mean, really, I'm trying to accomplish something amazing here. How can I program this thing? I thought there was a way to program this clock. How did that work? Ow, 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 ow. Watch out, there's zombies. Gee, you think? Do you want to go sleep? Oh, that might be wise. Of course, most of these guys have helmets on, so it's, uh... That's fine, then we can just come and kill them. But at least there won't be more, yeah. Exactly. Hey, guess what? What? Botania updated. Oh. <laughs> Poor Schneeke, he, he gives us updates just about every week. And every week, 
Botania. the day after he updates it, Botania updates. Yeah, Botania does this. <laughs> it's, it looks like it comes out every couple times a week or something. Interesting thing, when you fall on somebody, mm -hmm. you do critical damage. Yes. Oh. Okay. All right. So where do you want? Where? Where? Do you remember what the radius is for the fire flowers? Uh, not off the top of my head. I think it goes out four from the box for the day blooms. I don't know about the other. Flowers. No, I know. No, I meant how far away can the the wood burning fl the endo flames get their wood? Oh, very like. Yeah, they, they've got quite the range. Okay. I dropped one on the, the far flower, and the one on the whole other side picked it up. Okay, so if I drop it right about here, that should be good then. We'll try this on for size and see how it goes. Um, sort of curiosity. Yes. Is it going to make that ticking sound all the time, or just when it's empty? Um, probably all the time. Okay. Um, is there any way we could move it? Yeah. Like, is it going to be a pain if we move it to the other side of this flat only area? In only in terms of uh, supply of, um, so over here? Um, I was thinking about moving this garden over to here. Okay. Just so, so it's not quite so close to my base. So right here then? So if I put okay. this right here, the clock right beside it. So I just need to get a conduit over here then. Okay. That's perfect. Because then I can hear it from... Yeah. Where can I hear it from? I can hear it from here, but not in my base where it's... Mm -hmm. um, where I'd be working, so... Okay. Well, I guess that'll do then. That'll be perfect. Whoops. Okay, that's your garden. Digging tunnels. There it is. Got your basement. It's going to take a lot more of this than I had original than I have right now. Okay. okay. Well, I guess we'll figure out that part a little later. Right now, I just need to go make some more ender alloy. Because what we're going to do. Of course, you know, this is actually going to start consuming this uh, material at an absolutely absurd rate. What else are we going to do with it? I don't know. Probably nothing. So I'm not that worried about <laughs> it. I'm just thinking about exactly how much wood we're talking here. I mean, we're talking every second a log is, there, is going to pop out of there. Is there going to be a way to turn it off? Because in that case... Um... Um, all I have to do is I, I'll, I'll add a switch to it so it can be turned off. Okay, because in, in that case, I'll, then all I have to do is um, just turn it on when I'm going to need it. Then when my pools yeah. are full, I can turn it off. Because I'm yeah. not, don't think I'm going to need that much all the time. Okay, well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I mean, based on what I've been, I've been doing just a tiny bit of research on uh, Ender IO and some of the stuff I've seen people doing with it, is, or sorry, not Ender IO, uh, Botania. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need lots in the long term, but. Whether or not this is going to be the way to get it is another question entirely. And I had a lever in my inventory. Genius. Iron. And pearls. I think that's all I need for this alloy. Pulsating alloy. Yeah, I think that was it, wasn't it? I'm not sure off the top of my head. Sorry. That's okay. It's not, it's not the uh, mod you've been working on, so that's just fine. Okay. Hopefully that redstone clock can be shut down with a redstone signal. <laughs> Your uh, system is going to go down here for a moment. Okay. Let's see, I gotta 
Where can I put a smart cable here? I need a smart cable so I can manage this craziness here. Okay, I don't actually need that conduit anymore, now that I think about it. There, so if I do that, and then put a smart cable, I can see how many channels I'm using here. Okay, are those even connected? What? Sorry, I'm just trying... Oh, there it goes. Okay, it just refreshed. Alright, we've got Fluix Smart Cable. We've used three of the channels on this one so far. Okay. Alright, hopefully that fixed any issues that may have come of my little hiccup there. I accidentally... Um, Uh, resized my window. Oops. Two, three, four. I mean, I'm always going to need more of these things, so I'm not worried about overbuilding them. This yeah. Is, like the stuff that just. This is the core of Ender IO. Is these conduits right here? Okay. I wonder if it burns um, wood the same length of time. Or not. I don't know. I just tested it with well, the so. Well, there's the good news. Hmm? It, uh, a redstone signal, a lever will shut it off. Oh, good. Then I can just turn it on when I need stuff. Whoops. Okay, good. Alright, so this should... Do it quite nicely, hopefully. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> God, they keep getting stuck today. All right. Inputting into the dropper. Now all I have to do is go turn on the supply system at the other end, and we should have a steady stream of logs coming out of our uh, ME system and into your farming system. Awesome. Always active. All right, well, let's find out. Oh, almost got it. We need to turn this thing to. There we go. And always active. And let's see. I'm not even going to see any change happening there. The only way we're going to know something's going on is if I check here. Well, it says here in fine print the sheer number of logs that are coming in. So the saplings are just going to be your backup, basically. If we start running out of logs, of uh, oak logs, it's going to switch to using saplings. Okay. I don't see that being an issue. You're going to need to make your full, you need to make some more of these. More of flowers? Yes. Yeah, you're going to need at least eight. I, I'd say go for ten endoflames, and if a couple of them aren't quite getting fed, then it will, it'll be okay. Yeah. Because I don't want to have a massive stack of logs sitting here on the ground. No problem. But. I will make some more endoflames. Sounds good. That was the plan. I mean, if I don't have to feed them by hand, I can get totally wacky. Yep. So... Well, that should help a lot. Cool. Thick, tick. That's a lot of mana suddenly coming into those pools, you know. Ha ha ha, cool. You might actually be able to switch it to the other mana pool for a short time and uh -huh. get them both filled that way and then use the water ones as the uh, stabilizing option later. Can, can you have a mana spreader t putting mana to two pools at once? Uh, no, uh, mana spreaders are a one to... Uh, one to one thing. One to th well, yeah, one mana spreader to one item. But w more th items can accept mana from more than one source. If my understanding is correct, you could have two mana spreaders going to the same mana pool. Yes. Depending on the size of your garden. Yeah, so yeah, if you make... 
Yeah, I'll batch more of those uh, endo flames. Yep, I will do that. And I know there's a way to slow to adjust this thing's speed. I just don't know how I interface with it right at this instant in time. So, but this is going to generate a pretty crazy amount of mana for you, Kate. Cool. 